Welcome to Mind Over Murder. The rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shinyan! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Ball 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> Too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer, and pitting them against each other in a superpowered fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? Or they could team up against an army of mascots, flaming mascots, armed with rocket launchers, and RPGs. Jeez, that's a fine and that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. terrorism with the syndicate back in Steelport. No, he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. You can give me a gun any time, Kinsey. Well, you don't have superpowers either. Jesus Christ, Kinsey. Why the fuck are there words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. This brings back memories. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> I'll just have to deal with it. Fucking 80s. Just throwing this out there, but uh, I don't want to be staring at the ground for the rest of my life. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. That was fun. as simple as 3D? Don't you dare hit enter, Kinsey! Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. Oh, I 
was happy to show off. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Finally, I get to just blow shit up. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> three times, Zinyak. Try to keep up. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. We'll see about that. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touché. That's two. One more to go. You're still kind of on my virtual shit list, Katie. For what? Last time we were in cyberspace, you turned me into a sex doll. God, are you so mad about that? I said I was sorry. You gave me access to the webcam you set up in Viola's room. If it's not an apology, that's creepy. I'll remember this one. Then we grab that. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying... Thanks for sharing your high school poetry. It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, I don't know what that is.
You're coming up on Matt's prison. How am I gonna start a prison break without a gun? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Wing it? Great. What can go wrong? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Fuck me running. Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What am I looking at? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. <sighs> Memories? It was total bullshit that you could only carry 200 pounds of bison meat. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Matt, stay calm. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington, very doubtful. Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. Why? What is it? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey, come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. 